Hello everybody. In this video lecture, we discuss about why in potassium permanganate titrations or permanganometry uh, or titration based on permanganometry, uh, we use dilute sulfuric acid. Dilute hydrochloric acid cannot be used or cannot these titrations means potassium permanganate titrations cannot be carried out in presence of dilute hydrochloric acid. Quantitative estimation of oxalate, ferrous and halides potassium permanganate solution is used. Here potassium permanganate quantitatively oxidize oxalate, ferrous etc. reducing agent. These are reducing agent or reductant uh, in the redox titrations or potassium permanganate titrations. Here we use acidic medium for the titrations and in the place of acid we use sulfuric acid dilute. Dilute sulfuric acid is used in potassium permanganate titrations. The question is that can we use dilute hydrochloric acid in the place of acid that is used in the potassium permanganate titrations? The answer is no, we cannot use dilute hydrochloric acid in the, uh, in the place of dilute sulfuric acid. What happens? This is means potassium permanganate. Permanganate, uh, permanganate ion, it is an oxidizing agent. So it oxidizes quant it oxidizes the chloride ion to chlorine gas. Means if we write equations KMnO4 plus HCl produce MnCl2 plus water plus chlorine plus KCl potassium chloride. Potassium permanganate oxidizes the chloride ion of HCl to chlorine gas. Okay. So, an error occurred in the titration. So, in potassium permanganate uh, titrations, if we use hydrochloric acid as potassium permanganate is an oxidant, it oxidizes the chloride ion to chlorine. As a result, error occur in the quantitative estimation. So for this reason, the permanganometry titrations or potassium permanganate titrations which are carried out to estimate or to quantitatively estimate the potassium uh, chloride, chloride, oxalate, etc. We carried out always titration, uh, this type of titration in presence of dilute HCl. So this is the reason why dilute HCl is used for permanganometry titrations. So I think you understand this topic well. If you still have any question why uh, hydrochloric acid is used in permanganometry titrations or uh, other questions, then you can write your questions in the comment section below. And uh, thank you for watching this discussion and don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell button to get new video upload notifications.